Good morning, everybody. This is Pastor Patty with your Wednesday morning check-in for Wednesday, September 30th. Can you believe it is the last day in September? I thought August seemed like an eternity, but September it just flew by, it, at least for me. So I'm coming to you from my house this morning. Um, so if you hear some dogs barking, I apologize. That's just my world. In fact, um, it's going to be hard to see, but they're actually right here right here beside me. So they may even pop into the screen because they certainly love attention. As many of you know, we are starting a sermon series this week um, about who the church is, who we are based upon our mission. And it's going to stretch for three months. And, and Pastor Nate and I are taking turns preaching on it. And our, our first week is going to be just an overview to get you ready. And, and the, you know, the topic, as I just said, was, you know, who we are as a church. But I think it's important that even before we do that, we just sort of look at who we are individually. And um, that's what I want to talk about this morning, just for a little bit with you. You know, if somebody said to you, who are you? What would you answer them? Well, you know, I've, I can only speak for myself, but if somebody said, who are you, man? I could, I, the list, sit back, buckle up, my friends. I can, I, I was Patty Good. I was Bob and Nancy's daughter. I'm Ken's older sister. I'm Bobby's older sister. Um, then I got married. So I was Mrs. Bream. I guess I am Mrs. Bream. That hasn't changed. But then for a while, I was a youth youth advisor at, at um, a church in Hanover. So I was Miss Patty there. Then we had kids. And as my kids got older and got more, our kids got older and got more active in activities, it ended up being, oh, you're Chris's mom. Or yeah, you, you're Nikki's mom, sort of lost that identity of who we are individually at times, perhaps we feel. And over at school, I was, I could have been known as that, oh, that mean, mean Mrs. Bream, fourth grade teacher. And at church, I miss Patty. And there was actually a young man one day that came to our Bible school and I had him in fourth grade. And after the first day, he said, oh, I miss Miss Patty. You know, we all have different identities in our life and we, we wear those roles as we go through life. But, you know, we're more than that. Um, at daycare now when I'm there, I, I get called Pastor Patty, Miss Patty, Mom. You know, that's another identity. I'm a mom. I'm a grandma. I'm an aunt. And all of those identities are things I am so proud of. And I'm so blessed to have them. But, you know, there's something else we need to think about. We need to think about who we are individually by ourselves. Do you consider yourself treasured? Do you consider yourself loved? Do you consider yourself chosen? I know there are many times in my world where I don't, and I think this is the perfect time for me to be doing this devotion with you because I know yesterday I said I felt like I boom, hit a wall and had to do some self-reflection. And, and there are times we just sort of lose who we are. So the question we need to go beyond is not just who are you, but who are you in Christ? You know, if you don't know who you are in Christ, living in this world today, it's like running into a battle without a weapon. It's like taking a butter knife to a sword fight. You know, we have to know who we are in Christ and live that life and, and pray for that life and, and remember that our lives are really, really challenging. And the only way to get through them is to rely on being a Christian and knowing who we are. How many of you realize that you are created in God's image? Now, some of you might be looking at me going, yeah, seriously, well, your shirt's a little wrinkled. Yeah, I know. That's a normal state. Um, so what? If, it's, if I'm created in God's image, is God a slightly overweight, okay, overweight, middle-aged woman with graying hair? And is that what it is? I don't think so. I think more along the lines that, that we're created in God's image because of how he loves us unconditionally. He loves us no matter what. And that's something we have to remember about ourselves. We have to love ourselves like God loves us because he created us and he loves us. And if we can accept that in our hearts and we can live our lives like that, others will see us like that. That's what you want people to see, that who you are is unique and special because of God. 
And because of that love of God, here's what we should be saying. I am worth celebrating. Each of you is worth celebrating for your special gifts and talents, how you reach out and love others. We're all different. We're all unique. And that's something else we can be proud of. God made us in his image in our hearts. But on the outside in our gifts, we're so unique. Not everybody can go into a classroom and teach and not everybody can work with patients in a doctor's office and not everybody has that linear mind to work with computer systems and do that. We're all special and we have to remember that. And more importantly, we are loved. When you feel like you hit your wall or you feel like you just don't know which way to turn and life is just bearing down on you, remember that God loves you and so do I. And if you need to talk, give us a call. I challenge you today, let somebody see who you are and not just who you are on that outside, but who you are on the inside because, because God loves you. I hope you have an awesome week and tune in on Sunday to see what we're doing. Take care and God bless everybody.